The next tool that I will demonstrate was also one commissioned by me and NetTuts, and that's called Fetch. So my idea behind this, which I commissioned somebody to create for the community, was a tool that will allow you to pull in zip files or single files and instantly have them in your project. So think about how many times have you needed to use maybe jQuery. And maybe you didn't already have it local and you couldn't remember what the CDN URL was. So you ended up just going on the web and searching for it or you went to code.jquery.com and that all just takes up time. Wouldn't it be cooler if you could say from within Sublime, hey Sublime, pull in the latest version of jQuery for me. And that's what Fetch does for us. So let's close this out and within my sites directory, we'll create a new one called sample. And now I'm going to drag that into Sublime. But it would also be nice if I could right click and choose open in Sublime. And I'll show you how to do that in a future lesson. But for now, let's just drag that empty folder in. Now we're going to install the NetTouch Plus Fetch plugin. Shift Command P, install, and I'm gonna look for NetTouch Fetch. There we go. So this will, again, allow us to fetch single files and zip files. So you could pull in HTML5 boilerplate in four seconds. Let's search for it. We could either go to Sublime Preferences Browse Packages and look at the documentation, or I'm going to bring up Fetch, and there we go. We want Manage Remote Files. So it's separated into two JavaScript objects, files and packages. And he's provided a couple samples for you. So the first one is jQuery. That is the source to the minified version of jQuery, as you can see right there. So now we've set up an identifier. So if I close this out, I will create a new file and we're gonna save it as jQuery.js. Now, rather than opening a web browser, shift command P, we're gonna fetch a single file and we're gonna bring in jQuery. And now you have the latest version of jQuery. So you would do this for all of the projects that you work on. For example, I use normalize.css in lots of my projects. So I would go to the GitHub project, download the latest version, or why don't we instead do this? Let's find it on GitHub. Here we go, source code on GitHub. And then we'll grab that file, view the raw contents, and now that should be the master version. And that way, if two months from now I fetch this file, it will be the most up-to-date version. So I will copy that link, and now once again, fetch, manage remote files. I'm gonna bring in a new one for normalize, and paste it in like so. All right, and that's all we have to do. So let's create a new file. We'll save it as normalize.css and I'm gonna fetch single file, normalize, and now we have the absolute latest version of that library. Now, in addition to fetching single files, we can also fetch zip files. So notice here that we can also grab HTML5 boilerplate, and all you have to do is for the project you want, go to its GitHub project or reference any zip file link. In this case, he's referencing the zip ball slash master, and that would be if you copied the zip link from the GitHub page. So now, I close this out, we're going to fetch a package HTML5 boilerplate. So now it's going to say, where do you want to extract these files? So why don't we, within the sample directory, we'll call it boilerplate. Now it creates a new directory and you have the latest version of the boilerplate and you can go ahead and get started. So cool. Uh, let's do one last one together. Maybe you are a WordPress user and you want an easy way to start working with WordPress. Well, let's go to wordpress.org and I'm gonna click on download WordPress. And this is a zip file, so I'm going to right click and copy the link address. Now I'm gonna go back to Sublime Settings. We're going to add a new one, WordPress, and paste that in. And we're all done. Close that out, Shift Command P, fetch a package, and I want WordPress, and we're gonna download this to blog. Close this out. And now in two seconds, you have the latest version of WordPress. You got to admit that is super, super cool.